A penning trap is a device for the storage of charged particles using a homogeneous axial magnetic field and an inhomogeneous quadrupole electric field. This kind of trap is particularly well suited to precision measurements of properties of ions and stable subatomic particles. Geonium atoms have been created and studied this way to measure the electron magnetic moment. Recently these traps have been used in the physical realization of quantum computation and quantum information processing by trapping qubits. Penning traps are used in many laboratories worldwide, for example, at CERN to store antimatter like antiprotons. History the Penning Trap was named after F. M. Penning by Hans Georg Demelt, who built the first trap. Demelt got inspiration from the vacuum gauge built by F. M. Penning, where a current through a discharge tube in a magnetic field is proportional to the pressure. Citing from H. Demelt's autobiography, I began to focus on the magnetron Penning discharge geometry, which in the Penning ion gauge had caught my interest already at Gottingen and at Duke. In their 1955 cyclotron resonance work on photoelectrons in vacuum Franken and Liebus had reported undesirable frequency shifts caused by accidental electron trapping. Their analysis made me realize that in a pure electric quadrupole field the shift would not depend on the location of the electron in the trap. This is an important advantage over many other traps that I decided to exploit. A magnetron trap of this type had been briefly discussed in J.R. Pierce's 1949 book and I developed a simple description of the axial, magnetron, and cyclotron motions of an electron in it. With the help of the expert glass blower of the department, Jake Johnson, I built my first high vacuum magnetron trap in 1959 and was soon able to trap electrons for about 10 seconds to detect axial, magnetron and cyclotron resonances. H. Demelt H. Demelt shared the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1989 for the development of the ion trap technique. Operation Penning traps use a strong homogeneous axial magnetic field to confine particles radially and a quadrupole electric field to confine the particles axially. The static electric potential can be generated using a set of three electrodes, a ring and two end caps. In an ideal penning trap the ring and end caps are hyperboloids of revolution. For trapping of positive ions, the end cap electrodes are kept at a positive potential relative to the ring. This potential produces a saddle point in the center of the trap, which traps ions along the axial direction. The electric field causes ions to oscillate along the trap axis. The magnetic field in combination with the electric field causes charged particles to move in the radial plane with a motion which traces out an epitrochoid. The orbital motion of ions in the radial plane is composed of two modes at frequencies which are called the magnetron and the modified cyclotron frequencies. These motions are similar to the deferent and epicycle, respectively, of the Ptolemaic model of the solar system. The sum of these two frequencies is the cyclotron frequency, which depends only on the ratio of electric charge to mass and on the strength of the magnetic field. This frequency can be measured very accurately and can be used to measure the masses of charged particles. Many of the highest precision mass measurements come from pending traps. Buffer gas cooling, resistive cooling, and laser cooling are techniques to remove energy from ions in a penning trap. Buffer gas cooling relies on collisions between the ions and neutral gas molecules that bring the ion energy closer to the energy of the gas molecules. In resistive cooling, moving image charges in the electrodes are made to do work through an external resistor, effectively removing energy from the ions. Laser cooling can be used to remove energy from some kinds of ions in penning traps. This technique requires ions with an appropriate electronic structure. Radiative cooling is the process by which the ions lose energy by creating electromagnetic waves by virtue of their acceleration in the magnetic field. This process dominates the cooling of electrons in penning traps.
but is very small and usually negligible for heavier particles. Using the penning trap can have advantages over the radio frequency trap. Firstly, in the penning trap only static fields are applied and therefore there is no micromotion and resultant heating of the ions due to the dynamic fields, even for extended two- and three-dimensional ion coulomb crystals. Also, the penning trap can be made larger whilst maintaining strong trapping. The trapped ion can then be held further away from the electrode surfaces. Interaction with patch potentials on the electrode surfaces can be responsible for heating and decoherence effects and these effects scale as a high power of the inverse distance between the ion and the electrode. Fourier transform mass spectrometry Fourier transform ion cyclotron resonance mass spectrometry is a type of mass spectrometry used for determining the mass-to-charge ratio of ions based on the cyclotron frequency of the ions in a fixed magnetic field. The ions are trapped in a penning trap where they are excited to a larger cyclotron radius by an oscillating electric field perpendicular to the magnetic field. The excitation also results in the ions moving in phase. The signal is detected as an image current on a pair of plates which the packet of ions passes close to as they cyclotron. The resulting signal is called the free induction decay, transient or interferogram that consists of a superposition of sine waves. The useful signal is extracted from this data by performing a Fourier transform to give a mass spectrum. Single ions can be investigated in a penning trap held at a temperature of 4K. For this the ring electrode is segmented and opposite electrodes are connected to a superconducting coil and the source and the gate of a field effect transistor. The coil and the parasitic capacitances of the circuit form a LC circuit with AQ of about 50,000. The LC circuit is excited by an external electric pulse. The segmented electrodes couple the motion of the single electron to the LC circuit. Thus, the energy in the LC circuit in resonance with the ion slowly oscillates between the many electrons in the gate of the field effect transistor and the single electron. This can be detected in the signal at the drain of the field effect transistor.